Understanding Personal Injury Law, a Comprehensive Guide Personal injuries can occur in many ways, and when they do, they can be life-altering. An injury can cause physical, emotional, and financial hardships that can be difficult to overcome. If you have been injured due to someone else's negligence, you may be entitled to compensation. What is personal injury law? Personal injury law is a branch of civil law that deals with cases involving physical, emotional, or psychological harm caused by the negligence or intentional actions of another party. The goal of personal injury law is to compensate the injured party for their losses and deter others from engaging in similar conduct in the future. Common Types of Personal Injury Cases Car Accidents These are some of the most common types of personal injury cases. Slip and Fall Accidents these types of accidents can occur in a variety of places, such as stores, parking lots, and sidewalks. Medical malpractice. Medical malpractice occurs when a healthcare provider fails to provide appropriate treatment, or when they provide substandard care that leads to injury or harm. Product liability. If a defective product causes injury or harm to a consumer, the injured party may be able to file a personal injury lawsuit against the manufacturer or seller. Workplace Accidents Employees who are injured on the job may be able to file a workers' compensation claim. Dog Bites If a dog bites or attacks a person, the owner may be held liable for the injuries and damages that result. The Legal Process for Personal Injury Cases The legal process for personal injury cases typically involves the following steps. Consultation with an attorney The first step in the legal process is to consult with a personal injury attorney. Investigation of the accident and gathering of evidence. Your attorney will investigate the accident or incident that caused your injury and gather evidence to support your case. Filing of a complaint or petition. Once your attorney has gathered the necessary evidence, they will file a complaint or petition with the court. Discovery, including depositions and document requests. During the discovery phase of your case, your attorney will gather additional evidence and information from the other party. Negotiations and Settlement Discussions In many personal injury cases, the parties will attempt to reach a settlement agreement before trial. Trial If a settlement agreement cannot be reached, the case will go to trial. Appeals If the outcome of the trial is not satisfactory, either party may choose to file an appeal. How to choose the right personal injury attorney Experience Look for an attorney who has experience handling personal injury cases similar to yours. Reputation. Check online reviews, ratings, and recommendations from other clients to get an idea of an attorney's reputation. Communication. Choose an attorney who is responsive to your questions and concerns, and who keeps you informed throughout the legal process. Fee structure. Most personal injury attorneys work on a contingency fee basis, which means they only get paid if you win your case. What damages can you recover in a personal injury case? Medical expenses. This includes the cost of medical treatment, hospital stays, and medication. Lost wages. If your injury caused you to miss work, you may be able to recover the wages you lost. Pain and suffering. You may be able to recover damages for physical pain and emotional distress caused by the accident. Property damage. If your property was damaged in the accident, you may be able to recover the cost of repairs or replacement. How long do you have to file a personal injury lawsuit? The statute of limitations for personal injury cases varies by state, but in most cases, you have two to three years from the date of the accident to file a lawsuit. Certain rules can extend some legal deadlines. However, you give yourself the best opportunity to pursue your case by hiring a lawyer immediately and allow an experienced legal professional to take all necessary steps within the statute of limitations. What should you do after an accident? Seek medical attention. Your health and safety should be your top priority. Document the accident, take photos and videos of the accident scene, and gather contact information from any witnesses. Report the accident, report the accident to the appropriate authorities, such as the police or your employer. Consult with an attorney. Consult with a personal injury attorney as soon as possible to understand your legal rights and options.